Hello and welcome to Three Minutes with Newman. This is Father Juan Velez. Today we consider one of Cardinal Newman's meditations titled The Paraclete, The Life of the Church. Many people think that the Catholic Church is like a business, or in the best case, a humanitarian organization. Regarding the Church as a human organization misses its origin. The Church is God's creation and God's continuous action within it. With this in mind, Cardinal Newman begins the second of his four short meditations on the third person of the Blessed Trinity by praising the Holy Spirit for the Church. Quote, Thou hast founded the Church, Thou hast established and maintained it, Thou fillest it continually with Thy gifts, that men may see and draw near and take and live. Thou hast in this way brought down heaven upon earth. End of quote. Newman holds what St. John Chrysostom taught, quote, If the Holy Spirit were not present, there would be no word of wisdom or knowledge in the Church, for it is written, The word of wisdom is given through the Spirit. 1 Corinthians 12, verse 8. If the Holy Spirit were not present, the Church would not exist. But if the Church exists, there is no doubt of the presence of the Holy Spirit. End of quote. In his meditation, Newman goes on to adore the paraclete, or consoler, for bringing him into the church. As a convert from the Anglican church, he acknowledges that there were more gifted persons and men less stained by sin, and prays, quote, Yet thou in thy inscrutable love for me has chosen me, and brought me into thy fold. Thou hast a reason for everything thou dost. I know there must have been an all-wise reason, as we speak in human language, for thy choosing me and not another. But I know that the reason was something external to myself. I did nothing towards it. I did everything against it. End of quote. The Oxford teacher, in fact, earnestly pursued religious truth, but still faulted himself for childhood sins and for his reticence as an adult to move more quickly into the fold of the Catholic Church. Reminiscent of St. Augustine's confessions, he writes, O oh my God, that overpowering look took me captive. How I struggled to get free from thee, but thou art stronger than I and hast prevailed. End of quote. We may ask ourselves, why am I a member of the church while others who are better than I are not? We do not have an answer to this question, but recognize that it is a great and unmerited gift to be in Christ's fold, and that it is the Holy Spirit who enables us to call Christ Lord. Like Newman, we can bow down before the depths of God's love and pray to God, the Holy Spirit, to use well the graces that He grants us to love the sacraments and commandments. Quote, Teach me to value as I ought, to prize as the inestimable pearl that pardon which again and again Thou givest me, and the great and heavenly gift of the presence of Him whose Spirit Thou art upon the altar. End of quote. Preparing now for the Feast of Pentecost, ask a family member or a friend, what do you understand the Catholic Church to be? Then, with the help of the Holy Spirit, explain to him that the Church is the communion of the baptized children of God, the body of Christ, enlivened by the Spirit. And let us pray more often, Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth.